the police station. We were at the police station. And the police were so friendly. They were really cool. So what happened was we went to the ATM so I could get some money out. And um, the guy in front of me walked away <laughs> without his card. And when I tried to cancel, like, I didn't know what was going on. So I pressed the red button, which I thought was cancel. And instead, it took $250 out of his account and spat out, spat out and his card at me. And I'm like, what the heck? So didn't know what to do with it. And we were waiting at the bank for him to come back, but he didn't come back. Yeah, because he booked it out of there really fast. Yeah. We couldn't catch him. He was on the phone and he just ran out. And we're like, oh. And so Mark came. He wouldn't talk to strangers for us. Um, because he is better Korean. Mark, be more charitable. But, um, so they all went shopping to go find shoes and I waited for him, couldn't find him. So I contacted my friend, so on. And, okay, this is really funny. This is, this is really funny because I actually contacted a few people and I'm like, I found this card and some money in an ATM, what do I do with it? And everybody, including the bishop from church, said, put the card in the, in the machine and take the money. <laughs> so, and I was like, what? And then another person was like, you put the card in, enter your PIN number and take the money. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they all think it's my card. So I had to explain to them, no, this is somebody else's card and I want to return it to them. And they're like, oh. But by the time they got back to me, someone had already given me some good advice and I'd gone into the police station where we spoke to the police. And they were pretty happy, they took our details. Um, they got my Katok ID because I don't have a phone number here. And, um, <laughs> and I guess they're gonna contact me and let me know if they're able to find the owner. <clears throat> um, but it was so funny. They couldn't speak English. So Soan, I called Soan on Katok and put him on speakerphone. And he talked to them, told them what happened. But then one of them also had a, um, a translator on his phone called Papago. And he, I guess it's his first time using it. So he was really proud of it. <laughs> and he was just, he was just writing up these random messages like one of them talked into the phone and he handed it to me and it said I have a badge and I'm like oh so you're good for you <laughs> and, then, and then he was told to ask me for my ID and it came up uh, can you show me your sleeves again and I'm like sleeves and he's, he's so proud he's like yeah and then I looked at it and I went oh sleeves sleeves and he went what oh and started getting so <laughs> so yeah, that's our adventure for the night. It's not even eight o'clock, and we've already been in. We've already been in the police station. Yep. Marin doesn't like police. Apparently, she has a record. I do. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head home. We have church tomorrow and I guess we had a really good little adventure. I hope the money gets back to the guy. If not, I think we get to keep it, but I really hope he gets it instead. All right, have a good night. Bye. <laughs>